So when I get to uh, like emission spectra, right? And I show this to the first year and second year because it's an important experiment. I always start with neon because it's just got such you know bright lines, right? I always point out to the kids that you know if it's not red, it's not really a neon sign. It's it's got some other gas in it. But what I like to use for just using these tubes is I use these uh, glasses. You've got about a hundred of these glasses, right? Uh, and you know. You get them from Rainbow Symphony. But anyway, I always turn off the lights because, of course, it works a whole lot better. Let's see if we can see any emission spectra here. Where's the lens? Oh, there you go. All right, so if, we, if you just look off to the side, you can see the spectrum there. Right, what's, what's cool about these glasses, you could just turn your head to look at it. It's like, oh, there it is, right? And then if we're lucky, we can get the... We can get another, nah, let's see, the second order. You, when they're on your eyes, you can get, you can see the second order off to the side there. There's the first order. Notice that the red diffract more than, um, are further off to the side, right? Because their wavelengths are larger. Um, but anyway, uh, this is really cool. And I, I, I show them neon. And then, of course, I got, you got to show them hydrogen because that's really the only one we've solved exactly, right? Uh, and then helium is cool because, you know, that we discovered that in the sun's spectrum. And there's all kinds of reasons why this is important, from redshift to, to uh, detecting life on exoplanets and, and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, um, that's what I do.